There are about 250 employees of Dominion. Even, I don't know, a million dollars each would still leave the company with $537.5 million. And if they donated another $100 million to create an organization that would fight for truth in media or something, that would still leave them with a whopping $437.5 million. Look, their taxes, et cetera. But it sends a message that all of their claims are for real. Uh, even Hutan Yagozadeh, who is the managing director of the private equity firm, it's the majority shareholder of Dominion, said after the settlement that this really isn't about the money. It's not every day that an investment fund finds itself at the center of this type of dispute. For us, this case has always been about exposing the truth and holding those who knowingly spread lies accountable. Fair enough. It's also not every day that an investor walks away with a return on its investment of more than 1,500 percent. According to Fortune.com, quote, Staple Street's share of the settlement, assuming it had made no additional equity investments since 2018, would be 598.5 million, or 1,542 percent more than it paid for its stake in the company. According to its website, Staple Street has about 900 million under management. Look, it's an enormous sum of money. And seeing as nearly all the principal actors from Dominion have gone on the record, including Staple Street, that this is about fighting for the truth, what specifically is their plan in that regard? Look, Dominion's defamation case was strong. They weren't the bad guys here. And it was largely validated by this massive settlement. But let's not be so naive to think that this was just about the truth. It was also about a private equity firm making a lot of money. And if they're true to their word, they'd use a big chunk of that payout to continue that fight, or in other words, put their money where their mouth is. Joining me now is Davida Brook, lead attorney for Dominion Voting Systems. Thanks very much for coming on the program. Appreciate it. So I would assume that Dominion had some sort of plan for a significant win windfall, whatever the amount ended up being. Is there a plan in place to use that money um, to compensate the employees or others? So many of the employees of Dominion are shareholders in the company, in this homegrown company, and they will be seen in the benefits of the $787 million settlement that Fox agreed to yesterday. And Mr. Poulos and Mr. Gubzida are delighted that that is the case. But when you say many of the employees, that means not all of the employees. And that's a pretty small amount that their shareholder return compared to the amount, for example, uh, that Staple Street will be getting as a result of this. You would think, again, if they're true to their word, that they would make the employees, first and foremost, uh, the focus here and give them more than just many of them who are shareholders, some sort of return. I can tell you that the employees of Dominion right now are just beyond thrilled and thankful for what both Mr. Poulos and Staple Street Capital have done for them. This case has been incredibly hard fought. It's been incredibly hard fought by literally every single person at Dominion and at Staple Street Capital. And I think they all share in the victory today. And they are truly grateful for the result that Dominion was able to achieve in the public. Look, I'm, I'm really not trying to position you guys as the bad guys here. I, and it may, it may feel that way in the fact that I'm going to ask another question about this. Um, but I am trying to figure it out, right? Because I did take, I think many people take the Dominion CEO and the Staple Street um, managing director at, at, at face value when they talk about this being about more than just money. And I believe you that people at Dominion, the employees, are pleased uh, with the result. But it does seem to me like there's some obligation for more here, considering that Dominion has been wrapping itself in this flag of truth and justice and a crusade for so long. Well, I think you're missing the fact that Dominion didn't settle two months ago, four months ago, six months ago. Dominion did not settle until, just as you said, the truth was revealed. We went to summary judgment. We briefed it. 
We put the documents in the public record so that the public could see for itself both the truth about Dominion and the truth about what Fox did or did not know at the time that it made the allegations about Dominion that it did. And it was only after we achieved that goal of accountability, which you're absolutely right, was critical. It was a critical goal to achieve that accountability and to expose that truth and to get that ruling from the court that it was crystal clear that there was yeah. no evidence in this case showing that Dominion stole the 2020 election and there was no settlement before those goals were achieved. Davina Brooke, thank you very much for coming on the program. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find News Nation on your cable provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.